Hey folks, Engineer775 here, wanting to share with you a really cool product. This is a mobile solar trailer or a mobile solar unit, and it is a completely self-contained mobile power source. And I'll take you inside and show you all the components that make it up. Um, I just wanted to show you the trailer from the outside first. It's in its uh, deployed um, position right now these solar panels actually do for transportation will fold up to the trailer they'll come down the pivot points have been well thought out and uh, so this trailer has about a 1.5 kilowatts of solar on it I'm going to show you inside some of the components and then I'll tell you about the applications so for the unit this is from the back side uh, it comes with a very nicely fabricated rack to contain an industrial battery. There's a lot of different models, and this is uh, an IBE. It's an industrial 24 2 volt cell system. It's 48 volts, made up of 24 2 volt cells. It has a degassing and watering system on it. Again, because it's an enclosed trailer, it's a smart move. Uh, it comes with outback um, charge controllers and inverters. They're on the other side. Uh, midnight combiners and I found out about this through a customer that uh, wanted to increase the size of the solar array so that's what I'm doing is basically adding uh, a solar array to it for some more power um, let me just show you about the components we'll talk applications here in a minute so as we work our way around the trailer we have this nice uh, Leviton access panel here where we have 240 volt twist lock plug out 30 amp on that one I believe and then we have 110 110 volt out and then we have a generator in so that's nice because the inverter has a built-in generator so you can use shore power or generator power to charge the batteries if the solar is not able to keep up so let's show you the system it is um, this is a dual VFX Outback 3648, I believe. Uh, so for 7,200 watts of continuous power. And you have the Flexware um, boxes on either side, distribution panels, you got a mate, and you have a hub. The hub's in here for stacking the inverters. Uh, so it is a really nice looking unit. I've been very impressed with it. So, and well, I guess I'll get into the application. So, one of the, the main reason the customer had this, they have a little Nissan Leaf, they got a little EV and they charge their car off of this system to do their daily running. And, and I think they've put 18,000 miles in a car and they use this unit to keep that charged. But they wanna take it to the next level and that is adding more solar and actually hooking this to their house. So let's talk about applications. So if you're maybe you're a contractor and want to have power. This is a small trailer. This is only like a five by 10. You can get a 16 footer tandem axle with a comparable system inside, still giving you plenty of room to work. Plus you have your own power source. So, you know, you could show up to a job site with this and build the entire house. So that's what's really cool about this as one application is for a contractor that has a trailer uh, that needs a trailer and you can bring along your own power source with it. Um, outdoor events, people that use generators for all sorts of outdoor events uh, are always complaining about the noise and how do you keep the generator quiet. This is silent, pure sign, better quality power than is coming from the grid. So you could run your audio equipment and then not interfere with your audio equipment. So a lot of, a lot of applications. Now a lot of people I talk to have had trouble say with uh, hook, putting solar on their property, getting permits and those kinds of things. Well, just imagine just putting in um, a permit for a generator and putting in a critical loads panel, a 50 amp twist lock plug, and then just pulling this baby up alongside it and plugging it in with a cord. This is what this thing is. It's a mobile generator and therefore it's not attached to your property ready for transit. We had other people looking for ways to take and use a system like this on their home and then when they leave or go camping or go to their cabin remote location they just take this with them and then they plug it in there at the cabin 
So they're not wasting the investment. They're using it, um, using it in their home. And it can be set up to do grid tie as well. I mean, these inverters are more than capable of selling all the power back to the grid. So lots and lots of ideas and applications for a mobile solar unit. So these folks charging an electric vehicle, that's pretty cool. We're actually gonna add on their property a fixed array. We're gonna combine the output from the fixed array with this system through another charge controller and then connect it to their home. So they're gonna be able to have a really neat system. And when they wanna go camping, which they do a lot, they'll take this unit with them. If they're going to seriously go someplace, bug out, well, one person takes this trailer with the auxiliary solar array which you can get to the auxiliary solar array, same panel, and uh, hook it in. We were able to use the same charge controller. We're maxing it out now with this, with these uh, 12 panels. And uh, if we were gonna add more solar, well, again, we'd have to add another charge controller, which is no big deal. So this is kind of cool. I don't know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about it. But um, I'm gonna start offering these on our website. You can go to practicalpreppers.com and put in, there's going to be, if you end up getting one, I just I tell you to put in a discount code E775 and that'll help you out in your purchase of one of these units. And uh, we'll work out the details. But a lot of times, you know, there's, you're going to probably submit for a quote on one just because there's so many ways to equip these and put options in here. They even have generator onboard generator options so we want to really make sure you get the one you want and design it the way you want and again the length the size the height will determine how much solar you can get on it we have some very large stationary solar arrays that are on trailers but can be set up as um, auxiliary solar arrays to hook into the system as well so that's about it the trailers are you know high quality um, these are the same company. I think it's LGS that makes look and pace and oh, I can't remember the other They're a big trailer company. So it's you, you're getting nothing but premium equipment When you get one of these mobile solar trailers, this is the MS 225 model. I'm showing you now and uh, I just added The array that's my been my involvement, but very excited about Helping people get one of these if they want this could solve a lot of the problems of, uh, you know, I don't want to say getting around the utility issues, but um, just pull a permit, get the electrical work done in your house, and this will be your generator. This could be your generator. All right, I think I've covered it all. You probably could think of a few other applications for it. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to show you these cool... I don't like... I'm, I'm going to be connecting this these two trailers with, with the Anderson connectors, and I actually found these to be really awesome I have got a lead on these and these are the um, environmental boots for Anderson connectors so you have a source plug you have a load plug and you have and <laughs> you have ways to keep them together um, so I'll be putting those on here to make a nice connection between the two trailers all right that's about it if you have any questions let me know but again remember the discount code e775 whether you fill out the form or um, you actually purchase one directly from Mobile Solar. That way they'll know where it came from. If you came from my channel to it, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, I guess that's it. Car charging, workshop, camping, bug out trailer, you name it. There's a, um, just, and then an everyday use. Have this hooked to your house and grid tie it. Uh, why not? Or, you know, take it to your bug out cabin. But a really well made, well designed system, very well balanced. And this is just the baby. This is the little, this is the little guy, the MS-225. I think there's one smaller and there's a couple larger than this too. Where you can get up to um, I think a good 12, 72 cell module. You know, something that's really putting out some power. So, okay. I think that's enough about the trailer. If you have questions, let me know. Send me an email at info at practicalpreppers.com or just leave a leave a comment below and appreciate you liking and subscribing as always and I'll talk to you soon. Engineer 775 signing out.